Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to provide amazing dispersion effect in Photoshop. So let's begin the tutorial. First click on file, new, take a document 1280 and 720 pixel then click on create. So your document is ready. Now first we are going to place our surface image. So this one is surface image and you can download all these images from my website and the website link is given in my description box so just place like that like this okay our next work we just add this sky image control minus adjust this image So this one is adjust and second we just adjust the color of this image so just click on color balance clipping mask and adjust this one like this. just hold okay so this one is almost done and this is our desert image we just take this one and simply place on our new document and select this one take mask layer take brush make foreground color black then make opacity 20% is perfect and apply this alias so this one is completed and again click on this layer and go to curves select clipping mask clipping mask is already selected and we are going to okay so this one is completed and our next work we just take a new layer just create on clipping mask go to brush this time select this color and make opacity 23% is perfect and apply these areas so this one is done and sorry and another work we just place our elephant image so this one is our elephant image and we are just placed this one so and adjust the size of this elephant I think this one is perfectly matched and also adjust this layer so go to color balance clipping mask and adjust this one a little bit okay so we can finally get our same color like same color from sky to landmass so this is our elephant image we just make this one a little bit darker so we are going to use curve so just decrease the light okay and again click on adjustment layer and this time select brightness and contrast first click on clipping mask and then decrease the brightness okay just click on this layer 
and increase the opacity of this brush and apply this area and generally we provide a shadow so take a black color click on blank layer apply this click on move tool hold shift and just make this circle little bit flatter so it's look original shadow or you this one is provide realistic look so again duplicate this one and adjust in that area and again duplicate this one the elephant image is AI generated image so it's made some mistakes so don't worry you can use another elephant so this one is almost completed just merge this one okay I'm going to merge these layers and duplicate this one no no just duplicate this one and then go to filter liquify select forward warp tool and apply then click ok take a mask press ctrl i to invert the layer and click on this blank mask layer go to brush select brush reverse brush okay adjust the size of your brush by using third bracket key okay and apply these areas make foreground color white opacity 100 percent and apply this and again click on this layer original different layer take new take new mask layer and brush and apply this area make foreground color black and apply this then take a blank layer then go to your brush black color and select this color I'll make a little bit darker then apply this area so this one is completed and we just add a model so this one is our model I generated this image from imagine so just select this one by clicking on select and select subject so this one is perfectly selected and we just place this one in that portion take a blank layer go to brush this time take general brush soft round and decrease the size of your brush by using bracket key and apply black color and apply this area so my friend i just add some extra shadow or black color in blank layer and i'm going to adjust the color of this model and we need to adjust some extra in our elephant image so just create clipping mask and select this time cleaner dodge and go to adjustment layer and select solid color and this time this one is the pink so i'm select this color okay go to blending option hold alt key and decrease this one okay then click on mask layer control i go to brush tool is 71 percent is perfect 
and we just apply here for extra lights you can also add some extra images like you can place a date tree in this area or you can place here some dry bushes so this one this bushes you can place this area so it's perfectly look realistic just create one curve and make this one little bit darker and adjust this one like this and also adjust the color of this image and now we are going to our final adjustment so just mark the complete layer or complete work just press shift ctrl alt plus e right click convert to a smart object filter camera raw exposure is almost perfect but i make make this one little bit more darker increase the contrast highlighted area just increase little bit shadow area decrease white areas increase little bit black clarity click on 0.5 percent is perfect saturation just increase little bit and the highlighted area increase and this time shadow plus 16 and light area Nineteen. Increase the sharpness. Click on split tone and click on effects and so my friend the work is completed hope you like this tutorial if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel okay see you soon with new tutorial goodbye